Hi guys, welcome back to what is kind of part two of my roundup of favorite polishes of 2016. These are polishes that were just released in 2016. If you missed my version of this um, mainstream style, I will put a card up to that right here where you can go check that out. And that's all the polishes that I picked out as my favorites that are just mainstream. But today we're talking about indie polishes. So if you aren't aware what an indie polish is, an indie polish is an independently made polish. It's a polish that is not um, marketed or manufactured mainstream. These are, for the most part as I'm aware, all polishes that are remade, being made like in-house, in people's, either in their homes or in their offices, um, you know, in their personal workspace, but it's usually headed up by like one or two people usually, and they're like personally mixing these polishes, taking the components, mixing them by hand, and then producing them for sale online so that we can all try the really cool interesting concoctions that they're coming up with. So I've picked out 20 of my favorite polishes. Again, like the mainstream one, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to move through these quickly as you know. I kind of made another long video in that mainstream one, but I just don't want to leave you know anything out. On that, you know, the other side of that coin, I'm gonna leave something out that was your favorite and that maybe I just didn't love as much as something else. We all like different things, you guys. This is just my fa 20 favorite indie polishes that I personally reviewed and tried this year for you. So if you've never tried indie polishes before because they are a little bit more cost prohibitive than mainstream polishes, I understand. I had never tried an indie polish before, maybe two and a half years ago, um, other than what somebody had gifted me. And so I understand, they are more expensive, but they're more expensive for a reason. They are made by hand, they have much more interesting components in them. You're gonna see a lot of holographic polishes today if you're interested in that. There's a lot of really interesting cool shimmers and flakies and things like that, as well as just still being some really great cream polishes. So that's why indie polishes cost a little bit more. You probably already know that, but if you haven't been able to afford to purchase any yet, I understand that. Um, but some indie polishes are really worth saving up for and getting. I mean, definitely, I'd you know, give 10 of my mainstream polishes for one indie because they're just that interesting and um, original and unique. So, um, as you guys know, I did start my own indie brand this year, Moonshine Manny. If you missed any kind of news on that, I'd be surprised because I spoke about it quite a bit here on my channel. But if you did miss it, I started my own brand, it had its premiere collection. Those polishes won't be appearing in today's top 20 polishes. Pretty, probably obviously, I like those polishes more than anything else that I reviewed this year because it's like saying that you don't like your own children more than other people's children. I just love them because I poured my heart and soul into them, you know what I mean? But I can definitely still appreciate all the other goodness that many other brands um, created this year. Some of these products were sent to me for review. Some of them, um, a lot of them I purchased myself. So, um, you know, I'm not being choosy here on what somebody sent me and only shoving it down your throat because they sent it to me. No way I'm picking what was actually legitimately my favorite. So, that was quite a long spiel. Let's go ahead and get started. So at the very first part of the year, I'm gonna kind of do it in the same form as I did the mainstream. We're gonna start with things that I reviewed at the first part of 2016. So the polish that you see on my nails right now is going to be the same polish as it was in the mainstream video, and that is Virago Varnish Fermentation. So the Enology collection that Virago Varnish produced at the beginning part of this year was one of the most holographic collections that I saw all year, even now that we're at the end of the year. It is a micro glitter, ultra hollow collection, um, and it's just, the, the hollow is just so, so, so outstanding. All of the polishes in that collection were really fantastic, but Fermentation was my favorite because it's a very light purpley silver. Um, yeah, it was just definitely my favorite. It had super strong hollow, like I said. What am I doing? I didn't even hold it up for you. <laughs> here it is here. It's just, just so crazy beautiful, and I've had this in my collection for so long now, the whole year, and I've just loved it so much. So. Um, yeah, this is my first one. You're going to see a lot of other Virago varnish in this video though because I think that they had a really spectacular year. So next um, is our first polish from Super Chick Lacquer. You're going to see a couple, I think just two, um, that were my very favorites from them for this year. So the first one is called um, Boots on the Ground and this came from the Project Runway collection. These are just incredibly super holographic. Um, polishes 
They're in the same kind of idea as the Virago varnish fermentation. We've got some linear hollow and some um, scattered hollow in the micro glitter particles. So as you guys know from Super Chick Lacquer, they do their one coat super hollows that are just straight up linear holographics. This is a combination of the two. So you have more like a particle-y finish and where you wanna wear a nice thick top coat like you would do, wanna do for uh, the Virago, Virago varnish polishes. This Boots on the Ground is a gorgeous light olive. It's just so cool. I liked a lot of the things in that collection but this is one of the colors that really stood out to me. The sun just came out for the first time in a few days and it looks like it's already going away. Oh, sun. Um, so anyway, I hope it doesn't shine on my face, but we'll see, we'll just, we'll just do what we do. All right, so let's move on. I have two polishes this year from Pretty Serious to share with you. One is from their Pastel Brights collection and one will be at the very end of the video. So, if you haven't picked up any of their polishes in their Pastel Brights collection, it's a six piece collection of very, obviously bright, pretty much neon pastel polishes that's in their um, Awkward Pet Names collection. So this one's called Bunny Foo Foo. I went ahead and closed the blinds because the sun was going, hello, goodbye, hello, goodbye. Um, so anyway, this was my pick out of the collection, although the whole thing is great. There are six polishes in there, and this is just the kind of light turquoise shade, and I just thought it was fantastic. Definitely, if you've never tried Pretty Serious, they're also some of the most affordable <clears throat> indie polishes out there. They are made in Australia. They have a shipping location in the States. They're pretty affordable. They're like $7 for their, what are they? Um, I feel like they're either 10 or 12 milliliter bottles. Anyway, I feel like they're a little bit more affordable and maybe a good place to start if you're wanting to start um, trying out some different indie polishes. So I told you there'd be some good creams in here. It's not just gonna be all glitters and holographics. So next up, oh, this polish was so beautiful. This polish showed up in a Saturday Swatch Fest. I didn't review the whole collection that this polish came out of. I do really enjoy this brand. This is D Lush Polish, but I was just really, really drawn to this one polish and it is just so gorgeous. It's called I'm Jaws Sane from their summer collection. And it's this really great purple with a strong copper, um, I think they're, are they glitters or are they flex in there? Anyway, I'm not really sure. It might be a combination of both, but it's strong and it's beautiful and I love it. This does dry matte, so you could gl uh, gloss it up with a nice glossy top coat, but it's like a dark but neon purple. It's such a cool, interesting idea. I applaud them for creating this because I just am so obsessed with this. So I really loved that. Let's move on to some more summer neon. So from Virago Varnish here again, we have from their California Bleach Collection which was some of the brightest neons that I saw all year. They're very like light pastel neons again, but they're even brighter than the um, pretty serious ones. Those ones were a little bit more pigment rich, and these ones are lighter and brighter. And this one's called Laguna, but I think it is at Huntington that is the bright yellow. It's so bright, the lime is so bright, but because I love purple, I picked this one. But you guys, that neon is not to be missed. I definitely recommend checking out something from this, um, the Neon Collection, if you can get, still get it. I have to check their website and see, but oh, this is so beautiful. And then another Neon that I really, really loved came from Cloris to Carol Beach Boys um, collection, and this is called Summer Means New Love. And she did a whole collection of these kind of crelly Neons with um, scattered holographic in them, and I wanted to pick up this coral because this is a color, even though I don't wear it a lot, really means summer to me, and I think that she just did this one so well. It's like a sweet, coral. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So I loved this. That whole collection is really bright and pretty, but this color really spoke summer to me. So um, yeah, Summer Means New Love and Laguna from Virago Varnish were some really awesome neons this year. Around this time, I reviewed a collection from I Love Nail Polish, and this polish really stood out to me along with this um, Virago Varnish fermentation that I'm wearing. This polish has some ultra holographic. I think I love nail polish brand. They are a more boutique brand, by the way, which is slightly different than Indie. Um, but a lot of their holographic, and they did a lot this year, had some of the most eye-blinding, delicate, but beautiful holographic. And if you saw my recent review on their most uh, their holiday collection, I spoke a lot about how their holographic is so delicate but bright. And I think that's why they do a sheer polish so that you layer it up and you can really see all that gorgeous hollow. So um, anyway, this was my first, well not my first glimpse into their hollow because I bought some before, but this was my first 
um, purchase of an entire collection. And this was my favorite one. It's a rose gold holographic polish. It's just so crazy beautiful. So I definitely recommend. I liked a lot of that collection. Um, but yeah, this one was my favorite. Two more polishes from Summer and then we are moving on. So Polish, which is a brand of indie polish, but it's spelled P-A-H-L-I-S-H. One second, I dropped it. It's a brand that I really love. I don't get the chance to purchase them as often as I'd like because, I, you know, it's indie, so you can't buy everything. But um, I did really think that that collection was spectacular. So um, their summer collection was the Hot House, Hot House Flowers collection, and they did some, like, light pastels with little specks of, I think it was like matte glitter or little shards in there, shreds. And then they did some neons and then they did these um, kind of jewel toned Corellis with flakies in them. And I'm going to um, show you the two flakies today. I should just pick one, but you guys, they're both so beautiful. So uh, the first one is called Rum Runner Hibiscus and it's just, it's just so delicious. It's this nice deep violet with this coppery gold flaky that is just so strikingly different and I just love it so much it's just so so beautiful this is actually a little bit sheer so it's probably best as a topper but I think that when I swatched it I just swatched it um, on its own but the other one this is moth, moth orchid and it's the same kind of idea it's just this beautiful kind of almost magenta shade with flakies in it as well. They're like iridescent multi-chrome flakies. Ugh, it's just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. So I wish that I could have showed more from this brand this year, but you know, I do what I can. So, okay, we're getting down to the end here. So I have a couple more Colores de Carol polishes, actually three more. I thought she had an absolutely amazing year this year. If you guys have never tried Colores de Carol polishes, I highly recommend that you do. So the first one I want to share with you is this absolutely gorgeous kind of forest to olive green. It's just so, so, so yummy. It has a lot of yellow in there. And as you can see, there's a lot of yellow glitters in there. There's hollow glitters. This is called Feronia. It came from her um, fall collection, but just the absolute luscious richness of this color is just everything. I just absolutely adore this. This is a, if you can get your hands on this, this is a pretty good example of her brand. She just has a really delicious feel on the nail combined with so many gorgeous glittery elements and holographics and I just, I just love it. So definitely recommend that um, from the fall collection. Let's see. Okay, so Super Chick Lacquer did their one, ho one coat hollows again. So if you guys remember that collection that had um, Realm of Erotica in it, which <laughs> it was one of the very first one coat holographic polishes, and that whole collection is absolutely outstanding, and people have been loving on it, and ever since when it came out, people were like, give us more, give us more, and she created a whole new collection of one coat hollows this year for fall. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you a polish from that collection as well, and they were all pretty spectacular, but the one that stood out to me is called Rum Billy, and it's this, it's this kind of butterscotch hollow, which it's like a deepened brown butterscotch hollow. It's just so interesting and different that I don't think I have anything like this. And the hollow is just stupendous. I love it and they go on great. They're so easy to apply. So anything in that collection is just, you're gonna love it. I definitely recommend you checking them out if you've never tried this brand before. They have an absolutely wonderful top coat as well, something to look into. And um, I think her favorite from this collection was one called Wonderwall, and it was like um, a champagne that had some turquoise shimmer in there, so at certain angles it would catch that light. That one didn't happen to be my favorite, but that one I know got a lot of buzz too. So anyway, things to check out, um, but I really enjoyed this. So we have two brown holographics to talk about today, and I really fell in love with these earth toned holographics this year, you guys. So one is from Virago Varnish and one is from Painted Polish. So first up from Virago Varnish, she did a collection this year called 77. It was full, I think it was five, Was it was four or five one coat creams. Her creams are so delicious, you guys. I really recommend. But I went ahead and picked out one of the holographics in that collection I share with you today and it's called Disco Diva. And it's just this really awesome, like warm toned brown holographic that is just, mind-blowingly gorgeous. I put this on and it was it. I was like, that's it. I need more polishes like this. I just love this so much and that's when I was absolutely hooked. So
So I definitely recommend that one. And then kind of in the same idea here from Painted Polish, um, she has this awesome um, kind of cooler toned brown from her Gobble Till You Wobble collection. This is called Feasts and Footballs and her polishes are also so gorgeous. She does some similar things, some really great one coat creams that are um, also double as stamping polishes, but some awesome um, holographics. And she has a really great eye for color. I love her combinations here. So this one is a linear and scattered holographic. I feel like this also has some um, like metallic elements in it as well. Anyway, I don't really know exactly what she put into it, um, but I was so glad I was able to pick this up. And definitely, if you've never checked out that brand, I really, really recommend it. So, really enjoyed this. Let's see, where are we at, guys? I dropped another polish. Oh, shoot, we were almost done, but I need to scroll down a little bit more. Okay, so, um, next up, I have two polishes for you from the Coloristic Carol um, Holiday Collection. So, first up, I just thought this polish was genius. I knew when I put it on that it was going to make my favorite polishes of the entire year. And this is called Pine. And when you wear this polish, it looks like you've are wearing a Christmas tree because it's like a pine green with um, scattered holographic and it's just so beautiful but it has a rainbow of micro glitter in there so it looks like it has the pine base and then it looks like you have the ornaments on the tree and it's just so cool I was so glad that she pulled this polish off because I could see it maybe not working that well if the base wasn't the right consistency or opacity and I just love it so much. I recommend it. Like I said, you guys, you really need to check out her brand. And um, I hadn't showed you guys one of her linear holographics this year. She does linear holographics so well. And this is a super great dark teal linear holographic with holographic, um, with some holographic glitters in it. They're small, but they're not ultra small. So it makes a really interesting look on the nail. This is called My Favorite Jacket. I definitely... I loved this. I loved a lot in that collection, but this one was so cool. I just, I feel like there's also um, gold shimmer in this polish as well, so really, really cool. Okay, guys, so I don't know if you have been paying close enough attention. In my mainstream brand and in this video, there were no pink polishes except for this one. <laughs> so you could argue that some of the purples that I showed you are going to a pink, purpley pink. But I really just am not such a huge fan of pink, except for this polish. I adored this. This is from the brand Bliss, Bliss Polish, and um, this is a nice, like, subdued cream pink with goldy, peachy shimmer in it, and it's just so beautiful and delicate. This polish made me fall in love with pink, at least for this one collection. I was like, yes. Yes, I choose you. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I put it on and I was like, but you're pink. No, but I just really loved it so much. So um, this was my first experience with this brand. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was my second um, collection that I tried and I really, really loved it. So this is called Grind. It's from their work collection, W-E-R-K. Definitely another indie brand to keep on your radar. They do, she just does really great creams, but she also has some great holographic things. So I loved it. Like I said, it's all my only pink. It's my only one. Even though there were other things in that collection that were pink, I like that one the best. So next up, two more polishes that I tried at the tail end of this year. This is from the brand Girly Bits. And their uh, collection called Codename Duchess has a lot of cool different things in it. And this um, polish, along with the next one, really made it into my top picks here because they just have such a luscious formula. They just feel so luxurious putting them on the nail. So this one is called Phrasing and this is a blue to purple, it's like a blue teal to purple, purple duochrome, couldn't talk you guys. Because this polish is just taking my words away, it's so gorgeous. This is hard to catch on camera but in person, oh my goodness, when you wear it, it's just, you don't even want to take your eyes off of it. And like I said, um, that whole collection was really beautiful, but they, it's the feel of them. It's like the feel of them putting them on the nails. It feels so dang good. The next polish is in that same boat. This is from Colors by LaRoe, and I just barely got to try this brand at the end of the year as well. And here we have another duochrome polish, but here we've got duochrome with um, flakies in it. It's so pretty. So this is from their Holiday 2016 collection, and this is called Belle de Levain, and it's a pink... To gold duochrome and it might be a multi-chrome too it might be going to uh to like a green in there as well too but it has iridescent multi-chrome flakies in there that are flashing between gold and pink and this is just again i just put it on and it just feels so 
just rich and just luscious. I love how she makes polishes. And in that collection, she put so many different things in there, like every different kind of finish and formula for a polish. She just tried it all in that collection. And I just, she's just definitely one of my favorites of the year, Colors by LaRoe. So, mm, I definitely recommend you check out that collection. This collection sold out incredibly fast. <laughs> I'm hoping that they already came back for their restock and that some of you guys have been able to check that out since that video went live. I don't, they were like all sold out when I put that video live and it was like a day after the collection released. So anyway, I definitely hope you've been able to check that out if you were interested. So we only have, let's see, we have two polishes left. We have another Pretty Serious and then another I Love Nail Polish. So the Pretty Serious Polish, another polish that's sold out, but I know they're bringing it back so you will be able to get your hands on it. They just have to make some more and get it to all their different shipping locations. So this is Peace on Earth. It comes from their Ghost of Christmas Past collection, which is gorgeous. It has some beautiful toppers and a beautiful luscious green. There's a lot of cool things in that collection. But this one, if you remember in my mainstream video, I talked about how 2016 was the year of creams with contrasting shimmer. This one is this beautiful light minty seafoam green with a pink shimmer. It's really hard to capture actually. <laughs> I didn't capture it as well as it looks on the nail. It's just so beautiful and like I mentioned before, they're very, they're a little bit more budget friendly. They are smaller bottles, I do have to say, but um, they are a little bit more budget friendly. So there's that, it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's coming back like January, mid-January. So look out for that. And then my very last polish is a polish that I just reviewed the other day for you guys. And this is um, I Love Nail Polish Victoria from their holiday collection. And this is actually like a three to four coater, I guess you would say. I did three coats and I thought it was great. But like I was telling you guys, I Love Nail Polish's holographic is so beautiful and it's not like it's not, how do I explain? It's just like a delicate richness of holographic instead of like a, like bang, let's hit you in your face with holographic and like that's all you think about kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like when I look at this polish and I have it on my nails, I also really appreciate the depth of color. It has a beautiful kind of taupe to almost green base, but the linear holographic is just so outstanding and I just loved it. I loved it so much. This is called Victoria. The other polish in the collection that was similar to this was Varsity Jacket. I thought they were both spectacular. But I picked this one because it is sheer and I actually really liked it as a topper too. So it kind of has that duality where I can build it up to wear it on its own so it looks like this or put it something else, put it over something else so it looks a little bit different. So that is my last pick for the 20 polishes. I think that was 20. I counted them before I started but that felt like way more than 20. 20 favorite indie polishes of 2016. Like I said in the mainstream video, you guys, thanks for being with me this year. It has been just my absolute pleasure to bring you these polishes even though this channel is so expensive for me to maintain. <laughs> it makes me so happy to just play with and swatch all this nail polish, but also to bring it to you and to show you guys and to share this passion we have together. It's just so wonderful, the community that we've found together here on YouTube and in my channel and in the comment section and we all just have this solidarity for loving nail polish in a way that other people can't quite understand. So that's what makes you and I just get each other. So thank you. Thank you for getting it. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you guys are here with me for 2017. I don't plan on closing my channel anytime soon. I plan on buying an obscene amount of nail polish again next year. So I hope you come around for it. As always, let everybody know in the comments section what some of your favorite indie polishes were. I obviously couldn't show you all of them this year. Let me know what some of your favorite indie polishes were that you tried. And any brands that you really hope to see on my channel next year, that always helps me out to kind of see what you guys are interested in. I will see you back for the next one, you guys. Take care. I love you so much. Bye.